Hey guys, how's it going? It's Unknown here, and welcome back to another Dash Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at three of the most underrated primary exotics that I think are in the game. These are good weapons that unfortunately I'm not really seeing much in PvP or PvE, but they are still good. And before we start looking at the weapons, remember to comment down below what is your favorite weapon that you think is a little bit underused. You don't really see it often. Just let me know in the comments below. And with that, let's move on and look at this underrated primary weapons. The first weapon that we're gonna be taking a look at is gonna be one of the coolest looking weapons in the game. Because we're gonna be taking a look at the bad juju. This weapon is fantastic in PvE and PvP. And it's mostly because of its amazing exotic perk, the String of Curses. Which allows your weapon to instantly reload after a kill. Also granting you bonus damage. And also giving you bonus super energy. And this is really good in PvE when you're going up against a lot of ads since you basically don't even have to reload. You can just keep holding on the trigger since it's full auto and you just keep shooting and you'll get your super in no time. The model's damage is also nice, although it's not an amazing increase, it's just a little bit more damage, but any damage counts. In the Crucible, this weapon also performs very well, being in the same archetype of the Blind Perdition, which is a very good archetype right now. We're also taking very good advantage of his exotic perk, being able to gain your super a lot faster with less skills and also with the instant reload since it's very good when you're going up against more than one person at a time since that could be a lifesaver since you don't have to waste any time reloading you can just go back and keep shooting the other guy the biggest problem this weapon has is that the stability is not very good so I recommend that you guys run soft ballistics which will increase your stability and also perfect balance which once again will increase your stability and with high stability this weapon can become a very very good weapon in both PvE and PvP. Next up we're gonna be looking at one of the most versatile weapons in the game because we're gonna be looking at the Volian Gemini it's sort of scout rifle. This is like I said one of the most versatile weapons in the game this weapon basically is a jack of all trades it has good impact, a good fire rate, good range, good stability, good reload a good magazine size, all his attributes are really good, but just like all jacks of all trades, it's a master of none. There's nothing that really stands out from this weapon. Even his exotic perks are not really anything flashy. They just slightly increase your stats, be it by increasing your agility or by increasing your armor. It just depends what you choose. I think that that might be the reason why it's not really used a lot in the Crucible or in PvE. The weapon comes with some fantastic perks that could really change what you want the weapon to do. Do you want it to have more range? Just put on Hammer Forge. Do you want more stability? Perfect balance. Do you want 3 shot low armor guardians? Then aggressive ballistics is for you. It even comes with high caliber rounds built in, which is just another added tool to this super versatile weapon. So basically, you can adapt this weapon just like you adapt your playstyle and just make it yours. I would recommend sticking to medium range since that's where you will probably have the most success with this weapon since that's where it shines. So next time you're looking for a good scout rifle, why not give the Bullion Gemini a try? You may end up falling in love with it. And the last weapon that we're gonna be taking a look today is gonna be the first curse. The exotic hand cannon. Oh, the, the first curse. A weapon that was given out as a reward for completing a long quest, since you basically had to wait two weeks for the gunsmith to do his thing. But when players finally got their hands on it, they were a tad disappointed. A slow fire rate and exotic perk that seemed kinda useless made the first curse quickly fade from the crucible. But if they're above the change how the exotic perk works, I think the first curse is a lot better now. The first curse is a high impact, low fire rate hand cannon with some insane range. And I think this is what makes the weapon be so good in the hands of someone and so bad in the hands of another one. Since you basically have to always hit headshots with this weapon, you can't really miss because your low fire rate is just so unforgiving since everything else will probably kill you if you miss a shot. This weapon basically just revolves all around precision. The weapon's intrinsic perk gives you bonus range, stability, and movement speed while aiming down sights. And the weapon's exotic perk, the first curse, completely refills your magazine whenever you get a precision kill and also gives you more extra range and stability until you reload. The problem with having a weapon that's so reliant on precision hits is that you can't really hit precision hits in every single gunfight unless you're just a crucible god but for the rest of us that can't just go around just hitting precision shots one after another one every single time and man does this weapon punishes you for not hitting them 
I think this is what makes a lot of players use Overlook the first curse since it requires such a high level of precision. And also because it's basically always a 3 shot kill. Because why Bungie? Why couldn't you just make it a 2 shot? Why? Why do you have to go and just make it a 3 shot? You were right there. Just a little bit more impact. Why Bungie? Why? But anyways, this weapon can be extremely effective if you decide to put in the time to get good with the weapon. And it could also outrange pretty much every other hand cannon when it has the first curse perk active. In the end, the first curse is a high skill, high reward weapon. It's not for everyone, but in the right hands, it can be a monster. Anyways guys, I thank you all for watching this video. Remember to comment down below what is your favorite weapon that you think is very underrated in Destiny. I know this video is kind of different from the things I usually do, but I like making these videos when the content starts to slow down in Destiny, which is pretty much happening right now. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to leave some feedback down below how I can make this video a little bit better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.